First of all, everyone, thank you for putting up with how crazy I can be. I really appreciate that. Help me to vent a little bit. Help me get focused. Help me to get it off my chest. Help me to say like, whoa, these are things that were just major red flags going on that I needed to stop. Anyways, I, th I thought to reward some of you viewers, I'd go a little lighthearted today. and We'd look at some uh, BC news, including uh, orcas wearing wearing fish on their heads. There it is. This is bad news. My God. Falling out right now. Anything could happen. Get on! Wow. I'll watch the video later. They try up in this. It's not the bad news for you to start this morning's show. No, it's it's the hilarious news this time. Orcas are wearing salmons on their heads. And why wouldn't they? So it's been like 38 years or something. Back in the 1980s, the whales were wearing uh, a bunch of fish on their heads. And uh, people said that's pretty weird. And they uh, documented it and all this. And uh, they suspect its playfulness is behind it, our social symbol. You know, they're uh, they're uh, showing off their fish on their head. You know, they got, uh, they got fish. They're showing it off. This is some form of social communication. It just indicates they are using the fish as some symbol. A symbol of what? I don't know. This is like the top leading scientist. The good news is it means there's probably an abundance of fish in the area. Remember the great salmon hat days of the 1980s? Uh, Aaron Gleiss from the Pacific Whale Watch Association does. It dates back nearly 40 years. There was a female back in 1987 she was carrying a dead salmon on her head for a few weeks it was uh really quite incredible it was a real trend in the 1980s and they were uh it was simply hunting it was lucky moment caught on camera maybe i mean it could be that hey baby is that a salmon on your head or you just happy to see me uh it's a stretch to say it was a salmon hat she says i don't know though because i can think of lots of times i can even just think back from personal experience like these times you know sometimes my hands would just be so full from, uh, you know, stuff in my hands and I got kids to deal with. I just uh, put a bass on my hat. That way uh, I would not have to carry it around. Often the safest place is to hide right near your enemies. Like this time I was out, out at the Bowron River and a, a carp was, I'm like, where are the fish? Nothing's biting today. And the carp's like, he, 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 you can't see me here. You know, it's also quite fashionable. Sometimes I'd be out mining, you know, prospecting and whatnot. I just decide uh, to put a blob fish on my helmet or my uh, fashion statements I made there were, uh, I have a fish on my nose, playing steel guitar in uh, concerts with a salmon on my hat. And of course, uh, you know, out in the woods, uh, working around with a salmon on my head. Don't knock it till you tried it, folks. Young people are complaining that they can't get into farming. That was a problem back when I was young. I mean, uh, I wanted to be a farmer and I said, wow, there's no future in it. I can't afford to have uh, 1 million tractors and 1,000 hectares and 10 million cattle and... Uh, uh, $10 million dairy quota and this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, plus the slave labor, which I know you got to deport, but man, times were good while they lasted, weren't they? Farming is no longer a game for the small person. I think people are very disenfranchised these days because they have been told their whole life, you just got to work hard and you can have it. You can have it all. But it's not the reality most people are living in. It's not the reality most people have. And that's not the reality a lot of us face. And uh, thank you to everyone who's helping support me. I mean, I'm trying to do my own little farming job here. Uh, a lot of channel supporters came through today. Lots of supers, lots of donations, lots of new Patreons. And it just really felt like uh, the community kind of reaching out and saying, hey, Joey, uh, keep with it. A lot of great uh, comments and even a couple messages from friends and things. And I uh, uh, appreciate it because uh, it's hard for whatever field you're trying to get into these days, whether it be agriculture or, uh, you know, you name it. It's the game is bent against you people and and uh, people sense that and that's why wrongly they they think the solutions are things that are so crazy that will actually make things worse for them in the long run but that's uh, the world we're in these days i'm really blown away by a lot of the positivity uh, i just seen this now uh, a bunch of new super donors so thanks very much ron thanks outriding uh that's so crazy uh anston grant uh, gandy i'm not sure what i say uh uh, she lives in uh, St. Lawrence County, New York, but she's originally from Washington State, just south of the border, divorced, living on herself, working on mental health too. Peace. Thank you. Mute my phone. Yeah, I know. I try to sometimes. And then, uh, and then uh, yeah, it is. Mackenzie, BC is a lovely town. Yeah, it is a lovely town. I love Mackenzie, actually. it's uh, I've had great times fighting fire up there. And I, I miss that uh, Greek restaurant. Uh, last time I was up to fight fire, it was already closed and gone. And that's where we went to have uh, dinner all the time in McKenzie. I think the uh, causeway is super cool. Uh, we played this uh, festival there, Morphe Mountain Music Festival with the band back, uh, I don't know, 2010 probably it was. And we were on a, a string of really great uh, shows at that time. And we got to Morphe Mountain Music Festival and it was uh, 
Barely dead. There was more RCMP there than there was people, which is scary enough because these guys went into someone to shoot. They started shooting each other, man. And there was a lot of bands, but they were all playing cover songs, and every band played uh, that that song that just drives me crazy that all the folk bands play at the at the campfire. Uh, hey, mama, rock me like a vegan wheel, and every band was playing it. And uh, and uh, I thought, you know, wow, you'd think after the third, you know, even the headline band played it. I said, you'd th wow, you'd think after the third or fourth band played it on the main stage today, they'd say, well, uh, love your rants, bring it. You say things we all want to say. You know, I'm hoping that's the case. <laughs> um, yeah, can't keep the world at bay. That's true. Boundaries are good. We have to have boundaries. It's good to enforce them. It's good to tell people exactly what you expect, you know, with some realistic expectations, of course. Um, yeah, you know, and that's the thing. Uh, I shouldn't be working outside my regular hours. It's like, that's the thing with doing what I do. Um, there is no regular hours. It's, it's kind of all the time, you know, in a way, like some days I took the last two days kind of off. Where I've not been doing much. And we got a lot of nice weather coming to BC for a couple of days. You know, we do have some weather stories at the end of the week to talk about. Thanks, Janderson. Thank you so much. Um, so appreciated really appreciate it and these are just some of the ones i haven't seen yet frankie oh wow cool have i heard about the recent conspiracy that crystal meth that uh that does crystal meth in the snow how about the conspiracy that artificial intelligence is designed to drive us insane um i think people are doing a good job of driving themselves insane like as a society i've seen this crisis in mental health coming for a long time and the fact is uh we're arguing about what's real and what's true these days and people are lying and that's facts and we're talking you know there's a lot of of people that are believing in things that are just not true and it's like they have this alternate reality because the reality we're in is too crazy for them or too painful or too weird or not satis satisfying enough or it's so dark that they they need to live in this sort of alternate reality you know and it's it's really scary and to me that is a mental health crisis when you're purposely or knowingly or unknowingly living in delusions or choosing delusion that is that is crazy that you know and that's a there's a wildly prevalent prevalent in our society so there's that's one example besides the depression besides like the outward mental illness uh we have a society that's increasingly becoming sick and you know you're telling me that america isn't a dying empire right now uh and the health of its people and the well-being is would lead me to believe that it's not trending in a positive direction whatsoever the girl against me the government everybody it's against me because I'm so important. Sorry to say, in Canada, it's not that far behind. Um, people are refusing to accept really basic things. Like, I'm sorry to say, people, climate change is real. It's happening. The government isn't manipulating all the weather to do all these things. This is, this is, this is the reality that there's an easy manipulation that, that maybe they did do is that they manipulated the markets to be an oil economy and they're protecting it and they're dying to protect it they're fighting for it they're going to war over it they've been doing that for years they've been doing that for years and hey i'd say more but i can't afford much and that's that's okay you know I, the thing is a lot of people come and tune in who can right and there's people who have businesses and they, they've been getting a free ride for 10 years off me in the caribou i'm, I'm trying to do more build something bigger and not just be a random guy um just a skiff of snow at 600 meters in Kelowna and that's probably there's gonna be a lot of melt this week uh don't let Trudeau convince me about climate change uh, climate's been changing for centuries like this is you don't even know what you're talking about you you're just repeating what says sounds easy to say 50 years of alarmism actually no we've known since 1850s that the climate will be affected well, no, what we've known since the 1850s is that the carbon atom can trap and transport heat. We've known that since the 1850s. Uh, the easy, basic, simple of experiments have proven this. Exxon themselves knew back in the 70s they had their own scientists. Shell had their own scientists. They ran simulations and they ran their own research papers. And what they found was shockingly accurate to what's happening right now. They knew they spent billions to cover the truth. Don't stand there and fucking lie to me on my own channel, on my own page. Come here and tell me that Justin Trudeau has convinced me about anything. I first heard the word global warming in 1987, 1988. And I was eight, nine years old when this was the topic of conversation. I said, what does that mean? and some people explained it to me and I said that makes absolute sense and as I grew up I read books I actually have a shelf over here that is just part of the library of things I own there in the back of the room a lot of library a lot of books and uh, quite a few of them are on environment quite a few of them are science 
I better fix my camera here now. Quite a few of them are science books, a lot of history books, uh, environmentalist books. I've been on this trip. I'm 45 years old now. Do you think I just suddenly, after all these years of working towards becoming what I am, to, to learning what I know, to, to being able to predict weather accurately because I understand the greater picture going on. And you're standing there and you're gaslighting me saying, well, actually, I don't know the greater picture. I just happen to be lucky rolling the dice every day talking about weather. Well, you'd have to have some kind of clue of atmospheric dynamics in my head to sort of give you a picture, to understand the picture, what they're saying, to, to know what uh, these the sets of data and these sets of data would mean differently. And if you can put them together, blah, 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 blah. You know, there's ways that I come up with a forecast all the time that is accurate and reliable. And, you know, a lot of it, sure, is looking at maps. But I understand what's going on because I've been studying weather. I've been studying the environment, been studying climate, been studying the wilderness I live in for a long time. That's why I have a channel. So I'm not going to let you convince me that's what's going on here it's not no, don't let jt convince me i'm not going to let you convince me of bullshit because you don't know anything you could say more of an algorithm would silence me i'll silence you all this information's out there how is today's warming different from the past geological records climate human activity how is today's warming different uh, every kind of every kind of explanation has been out there since 2010 since you know before you were born We've had articles, we've had books, we've had 20,000, 30,000 scientists tell you. We had Everyone's been telling you what this graph right here says. And you don't want to understand, you don't want to look into it. You want to put your fingers in your ears and say, it's just the JT's trying to convince you because uh, carbon tax, this. The carbon tax is a good policy. You don't want to believe it. You don't want to understand. You want to take the simple sound bite that's easy so you can turn your brain fucking off and go, oh, now I know the answer. Climate changes from the dozens of volcanoes now erupting on Earth. No, that's not happening. There is no greater amount of volcanic activity than usual happening right now. Stop lying. Stop trying to spread disinformation that muckies, murkers, muddies the goddamn water up. And you can read this again and again and again on up and down the internet from science ex explanations there is not more volcanic activity than usual that's a complete fabrication you can go on every volcanic watching website you can go to you can go to geology hub on youtube and find out that there is not more than average volcanic activity happening. No, that's just not true. Stop wishing for things that aren't real. The man-made reality is carbon emissions, trap heat, stores heat, transports heat. You're the one lying. And some more comments from today. Best rant ever. You know, I was worried. Sometimes I'm worried that I say too much, but I think people want to hear that... The, the way it is they didn't they're sick of everyone sugarcoating everything and that's how i've felt my whole life i'm sick of everything being sugarcoated i'm sick of people not wanting to talk about what is real what is true what is factual even if it's hard sometimes sarah johnson thanks so much public life is rough it amplifies the stress and mental health so many people are dealing with these days she is correct about this quit social media a couple months ago I think about that sometimes. You know, I woke up Sunday morning feeling like, why am I on social media? Ding, 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 ding. You know, and now I realize why. Because of the things I want to work for, the things I believe in. You know, I believe in spreading community information, spreading weather information, spreading cooperation. So, so many great comments. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate every everything that all you're all saying. Um, yeah. Buddy sounded like he was on drugs, you know, and that's quite possible. And maybe if it hadn't been 500 messages dinging my thing like that, I would have been like, wow, I really got to help somebody who, uh, uh, you know, part of me still cares about, but, uh, it's like you trigger me to have a mental health episode. And I say, wow, get away from me, you know? And I, that's, it's, that's a basic thing that I think everybody would probably want so i did the right thing i can you i mute people too I, I i have muted people sometimes i hate to be that guy i want to be open for everybody i want to be the person people come to and watch and, and feel safe with at the same time uh i've never been good at keeping my my voice sh shut you know 
you know i've never been good at that so anyways thanks uh friends up in uh, peace there appreciate uh, all the good comments uh, and derek uh thank you for the donation i'll pay you to watch you lose your mind man and <laughs> you've been a great supporter for a long time and uh, it's true uh true uh i do uh sometimes lose my mind on here <laughs> and and uh yeah thanks for being part of my therapy sessions everybody well anyways that's a look at a little bit of the comments and uh just something on tuesday morning for you to wake up to that's uh, a little less nasty i guess than uh the way i was going today but uh the world's dark right now and i have a, a lot of feelings about it and uh it's hard to keep uh, it all to myself but i know a lot of you are feeling the same thing you know there's a lot of isolation going on right now and um there's a, a very dark time coming i'm just gonna tell you straight up and you can be like the what government's manipulating the weather and J justin trudeau wants you to believe in climate change and, and i'm not just talking climate wise and weather wise what's going on in america politically the the turn against science the turn against rationalism the turn against towards the irrational it's it's all very very concerning what's going on right now and i know a lot of people are are feeling the weight of it and i have been since since beginning of november and it's not even my country but we live next door to these people and like man are they going to start a war with mexico the the guy that everyone said is the anti-war guy you know and uh let's just you say he's uh he's the friend of the small man and he brings in all the worst corporate offenders there is all the biggest billionaires and they all saddle up to him and suck on his cock and and what's your excuse now and it just keeps going on the the stream of bullshit and you want to believe in it but uh you're you're going the you're looking for the wrong answers in the wrong place i'll try to give you some answers from time to time really i'd like to talk whether more uh, as much as i can but uh maybe i realize on this channel i should just talk too you know and uh anyways or uh, the whales are are wearing uh fish on their their heads it's totally fucked up thought you'd like to know <laughs> see you next time hit like share subscribe bye now